Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Starczewski, the principal at Dudley Middle School. And I'm Dean Packard, the principal of Charlton Middle School. We are hosts of a video podcast called Unlock the Middle, and we're joining you to talk right now about unlocking school culture. Dean, what a great, you what a great topic, Chris. And I'll tell you what, I think we can take this in a lot of different ways. But let me just start off by saying school culture is vitally important for the overall growth of any building or any organization. And I'll tell you what is set forth by a few key elements that you got to come out of the gate really good with and to start off. And, and number one, it's all about relationships. It's how about how you treat each other. It's how the interaction between teachers and students would be, as well as administration and teachers, administration and students. You've got to make people feel comfortable about what they're doing and show that you care about them to help support their overall growth. Without a doubt. You know, it's something that can't be gimmicky. It's got to start with a smile. It's got to end with a smile. Everybody needs to feel included. And if there's a true element of inclusivity in that classroom environment or in that whole school environment, there's going to be a high level of production because with that high level of production comes a foundational concept of relationship and connectivity and inclusivity. And if students can feel connected in that way, they're going to come on in and give you 110%. They might not be able to because they're mentally or emotionally not ready, but they know that you've got their back and you can support them through the adversity that they're facing. Well, Chris, as administrators and leaders in our building, and even looking from a teacher perspective, we're responsible for cultivating learning communities. And in order to cultivate a learning community, you've got to make everyone feel special about who they are before the learning even takes place. And once that is established, everything will then begin to spiral in a direction where learning can really be, really be robust and it can really take off and go. Again, a lot of it's done from the top down when we, we, we model what we do, we do examples, we communicate effectively, we make sure that everybody knows what the expectations are. And if we do that within an organization organizational framework, everything just moves forward. The structure is really essential to success, but making sure that voice is included, understanding what really kids are passionate about and what colleagues are passionate about and what really adds great purpose to their world allows us to identify how to tweak and make adjustments to our environment to satisfy their needs. You know, it's really, it's really a special situation when kids who you know, are coming from diverse backgrounds, all come together for a common purpose. They're coming together with different backgrounds and they're still working towards that common mission and common goal because they find importance, but because they find that they're a part of something bigger than just themselves. And they feel that they can be themselves. Well, learning, learning itself has no barriers. It does not discriminate against backgrounds, race, color, religion, doesn't, doesn't have a barrier whatsoever. So I love that part about that because everybody's on an equal playing field when it comes to their ability to learn within a classroom framework. But from my viewpoint, from a leadership viewpoint, we are responsible to build trust and trust, trust trickles down, not only from leadership to teachers, but from teachers to students. And that is, that is just a way that we have to really we have to focus all of us to ensure that that's embedded in everything we do up front. And if we front load a lot of that, the rest of the learning takes place because you're going to find that kids and people, uh, they're going to want to please you. They're going to want to do what you're asking them to do if they believe in what you're trying to sell. If they believe what you're trying to sell, absolutely. And then the final, final piece here, it comes down to recognizing and honoring everybody's past experiences and what they bring to that front door every morning. They're going to be walking into an environment that needs them to be included for who they are, not what we want them to be. And there's a very big difference between having high expectations for coming into a building and honoring and respecting people's backgrounds and experiences. That's all the time we've got today, though. So we hope that you were able to learn a couple of tips as you work to unlock the middle and culture.